Monday, July 27, and I thought I'd do a vlog for you guys since it's been a while and a lot of you guys have been telling me that you want to see a vlog. So this vlog is sponsored by Lululemon. I am about to get dressed. I still haven't done anything to my face yet, but I just wanted to show you guys what I will be wearing for the day. So I have here this beautiful energy bra. This one obviously is Lululemon. So I just got a white one. And then I also have this matching set right here. This is also the energy bra with the Wonder Under 25 inch high rise leggings. So I got the matching um, leggings to the bra. And I think they call this color camel, but it's kind of cool because to me it looks a little bit like leopard print. Um, but I love that it's like a subtle print and it's like a darker color so you can kind of just subtly see the print and I'm going to get dressed in this. But really quickly, I just wanted to show you, I just got this white energy bra just because I have like maybe two or three leggings that don't have matching tops. And a white one just always seems to go well with your little stragglers. Usually I am only like wearing the matching top and bottom to any like active wear or athleisure or workout gear type of outfit. So I love the cut of this. It's like a high neck and then it's, you know, like a sports bra. But what I like about it is that it goes a little bit longer right here. So you're barely really showing any belly. All right, changing up the mirror here because the lighting was pretty bad in our bedroom. But basically, um, I have this leggings that I love. It's the Wonder Under High Rise, and I always get the 25 inch just because I am 5'1", so the 25 inch leggings always fit me and hit me perfectly. This one hits just right above my ankles, and so I love them so much. My favorite thing about these leggings is that they always fit really well, um, and they hold everything in place, especially if I'm doing like high intensity workouts and I want to maybe jump around, do jumping jacks. I don't feel like things are wiggling around too much just because of the fabric. It's a really, really nice fabric, and it's super, super smoothing, and that's what I love about it. And also the waistband, it just kind of sits flat against your tummy and it really doesn't dig at all. I really kind of don't like leggings where it's kind of not proportionate. You know, it may fit everywhere else, but in the tummy area, it may be a little bit like too tight. Um, but this one's perfect. Lululemon, you know, it's nothing new for me. It's kind of always just like my go-to um, when it comes to workout gear. It's the one place that I know my workout gear will fit right and look right and feel right. Um, but I'm gonna get changed into the matching top, this other energy bra right here, because this is what I'm gonna wear. For my day all right so here we are in the matching set so this top is actually the first top from lululemon that i got with this cut i usually always do like the scoop neck one but i love how this looks it's just super flattering like i mentioned so the first one i showed you the white one was ribbed and this one is just um smooth but the print's really pretty and i love this for just also running errands, just going throughout your day. And this one I can definitely work in, um, just working from home and feel super comfortable in. Um, and if I get like cold or anything, I can just add a jacket or if I'm going out to the store or to run an errand, I can just throw on a jacket, like a denim jacket or even a leather jacket with my shoes. So this is what the back of the outfit looks like. It is like a cross strap at the back. Um, and then it also comes with removable padding, which I always love. All right, so that's pretty much it for me getting dressed. I'm gonna go get ready, put on a face, and do my hair because I, you know, will continue to film. I might film a TikTok today. Um, that's my goal. Otherwise, I'm also just gonna do some work on the computer. And yeah, I'll have you guys follow along with me. And oh yeah, if you are interested in what I'm wearing from the white top to this matching set, then be sure to check out my description box. Everything is available right now and they have a ton of really good items, especially for the summertime. So be sure to check that out. Again, all links will be in the description box. Before I um, go back to get ready, I actually just need to do something real quick um, on the computer. I just need to transfer a little video right now. So I'm just gonna save, let that think and export it. All right, so I'm about to get ready. I threw on this long cardigan from Misguided just because it's so cold in our house, which by the way, 
I probably should have told you guys about this cardigan sooner, but I got it in black and I also got it in this like mocha brown color and it's really long. So it goes down to about my like ankles, which I have a lot of cardigans like this, but a lot of you guys are every time I post a cardigan, people always ask about them and they're not that easy to find so i feel like if you ever find a good cardigan like this um especially if you live in la where it doesn't really ever get too cold um then you gotta get it and it's also hard to find ones that look like super chunky to where it looks like really nice so i'll show you this is what it looks like I'm not sure why the lighting is always crazy in here but it comes with a little belt I'm not sure if you can even see that but anyway, the best part about the cardigan is that it was under 40 bucks. All right, so I am just going to wash my little beauty blender. But I do this at least once a week. So I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, so I just use this Sigma Magic brush shampoo. You honestly can just use any shampoo that you use for your hair. At least that's how I feel. This one does a really good job at just getting all the foundation off and whatever's on it. Just spritz a couple times on both the top part and the bottom part. Just really rub it in. My hands are freezing, so sometimes when my hands are super cold, I'll just like run it under some warm water really quick. But I just also go in and out. But yeah, I love Sigma products. And they have good cleaning products too for your brush. I think that's good enough. Also wanted to share some new additions we added to our bathroom. So I got this little thing right here. I'm not sure the correct term of it. On Crate and Barrel. Um, and then I got this little vase, little bud vase right here. Also from Crate. And then I think these flowers are also from there too. I just put two little flowers right in there. Um, and then I just rolled two little face hand towels. I just Googled or YouTubed how to roll it really nicely like that. Um, so just put that on there for display. And then I just added this candle. I love this one. This is Le Rouge. Let's see if we can get it in the sun. Anyway, this is a really good smelling candle. I just got it on Amazon. And that's just some new stuff we got for our little tub right here. All right, let's like really get ready for real this time. So I am not gonna use full on foundation today. I'm just gonna use, what am I gonna use? I have this Armani Neo Nude. I like it. It's very, very lightweight. And I also have this tart one. Oh, but I think I wanna use my CC cream, which is like always my ride or die. So put some primer on real quick. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Prime and Poreless, which I actually really, really love. I already used sunscreen using a sh sh shade of sunscreen. You know what? I think I do want to put some of this on and I'm actually going to use my hands. I did a virtual event with the Armani Beauty team. They had a celebrity makeup artist on and she said it's best to just use your fingers for this. And this one is buildable. This is good for like everyday work from home. I will probably need another layer just because I like a little bit more coverage. So it's pretty nice actually. All right, close this up and I actually just really quickly went to grab my little Armani box right here. They sent a package full of their stuff. I have a powder. I'm gonna take this out. This brush, I wanna use it. Contour, so we'll try that. I don't think they sent a concealer actually, so we'll just stick with what we have. So let's go try their little bronzer right here, or contour. So it has this like doe foot applicator. I remember the girl feathered it up instead of drawing like a line. Then I like to go under, then I'll try. Up on my forehead. Seems very sheer, so we'll see. Yeah, it's very sheer, very natural, just like that. But 
I'm gonna put some concealer on. All right, then I'm just gonna set it with my, whoops, <laughs> Cover FX setting powder right here. This is just the one that I've been using. Now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna use my, precisely my brow by Benefit. Three and 4.5. I will do this one off camera just cause it takes a while. All right, so did my brows. They're kind of problematic today, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna try out this Armani little powder here. I think it's just like a very, very subtle powder. So I don't think it's gonna show that much. I think I see a little bit. So try that for bronzing. Okay, maybe a little down the nose. This brush is really nice. It's super, super soft and I love, like it's so easy to like hug around the cheeks. All right, I'm just gonna dust the powder off of my face. This is an hourglass, hourglass brush that I love. I actually want to put some of this on my lids. And then put some right here. Then I'm going to put on some blush, but first I'm going to take the blush that I'm putting and put it on my lids as well. So just tap it like that. Also, I'm going to take this Cover FX Blush and Soft Peach and just add a little bit to my cheeks as well. This is what I've been doing lately and I've really been liking it. I always get asked questions about my lashes. So, I always use a curler because it's just such a difference maker. And I never really understood why people wouldn't curl their lashes. I mean, I know it's not the greatest thing for your lashes, but like... It makes them curly and show when you put mascara on it rather than just like putting mascara on it straight and then your lashes just being straight. I, don't, I just don't feel like even a volumizing mascara gives the same effect. And I always um, start curling from the root and then I move up to the tip and I keep going like this. I barely ever lose any lashes doing it. And also I do use the T's and it works really, really well. Lost the lash, so I just said that. Then I'm just gonna use some highlighter on my lids. Really quick, really lightly. Then I'm just gonna add some of the same highlighter on my cheeks. My lips are always so purple in the morning because I'm always freezing. Now I'm just gonna add some liner my waterline. I use my Lash Sensational mascara right here. I think I need a new one. Of course, waterproof because it helps my curls stay. It helps my lashes stay curled, I should say. Okay, and then taking a cosmetics superhero oh darn i forgot i had an hourglass mascara that i wanted to try maybe i'll put it on as a third coat all right let me try it out this is what it looks like the hourglass unlocked instant extensions mascara this is the brush brand new mascara okay seems like it's a mascara that i would like i know it's kind of hard to tell but i like the way it's going on my lashes and it's like really separating everything and it's like a really black color so it didn't hurt it i felt like it made it better actually let's try this side because this is like the delinquent i don't know why just recently it's like 
The left side of it is like clumping together. Oh, and this is actually helping that. Okay, so Jamie and I started watching this new show on Peacock called Brave New World, and we literally got Peacock just to watch this show. It's such a crazy show, and I really just was intrigued by it just because I love Handmaid's Tale, and it kind of reminds me of Handmaid's Tale. So anyway, as I was saying, if you like The Handmaid's Tale, then I feel like you'd like this show, um, just because it's called Brave New World, so basically it's like a whole new world. They have the Savage Lands, which reminds me of Earth, and then they have New London, which is like this amazing other place that, you know, people are always happy. There's a pill for everything, and it's just that. And I think we're on like, I don't know, episode five or six, but it's been really interesting lately. I have no idea what's gonna happen next. All right, so last but not least, let's cover up these purple lips. So I'm just gonna put on some more chapstick. This is Elf Chapstick. I line my lips with Urban Decay Naked 2. And then I'm gonna take Anastasia Lipstick in Peachy, go all around. Okay, this is a lip combo I've been doing lately and I love it. Then taking Lawless Child, like very light nude color. And I just basically go over in the center. Then I take Lawless Gloss in Manuka, like Manuka Honey. And then I just go all over. And then I take my Hazelnut Tea by Laura Mercier and just kind of line it on the edges just so the liner is darkened a little and doesn't get so lost. And that's pretty much it for my makeup for today. All right, so now I'm gonna do my hair and I also finally got my hair done, my color. So I'm just so in love with it. My color is always does such a good job. This is just a little air dry. So I'm just gonna use this T3. I think this is about an inch barrel. Um, so I'm gonna see what this ends up looking like. The way my hands feel on your body, they were dancing in the dark. With every move I make, you're falling. The way my lips feel on your body, we were moving in the dark. With every breath we take, you're falling. I ain't got no time for romance, but baby, I don't want to lead you on. So it's a little too curly <laughs> for my liking, so I'm just going to kind of calm it down with a little bit of straightener. Flat iron, I mean. Good enough what do you guys think pretty different a little too curly maybe but I think I like it we'll see all right now let's get to work okay change of plans I'm a slow mover today and it's already lunchtime so we are just going to get some lunch together um, the whole time that I was filming me getting ready Jamie had a really big call yeah. and so we're kind of celebrating the end of that call <laughs> with the lunch. Not just the end of the call, but it was a successful call. Yeah, and it very was a big call. one, right? Big very meeting. important. Yeah, very important meeting. They're gonna move forward uh, with with me. So. Yeah. So, that's a win. Yes. And a big. A big relief. win. During, a big win during this time of COVID. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. car, car, car. Yes. So, um. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'll show you guys what we end up getting. I'm probably gonna get a salad and then I'll come back to actually work. Here's my lunch. So I'll get the bowl bowl sandwich and that's Jamie's lunch. Chicken, fried chicken sandwich. 
All right, we did a little really quick grocery run. So got some stuff for the bathroom, toothpaste, Listerine, cocoa puffs. Oh my God, so good. And then these um, Nature Valley granola bars, some ham, some bread, avocado, baby bell cheese. Um, this because they didn't have the full on one. I know I try to stay away from the bag ones. Some mozzarella because I got some heirloom tomatoes yesterday and I want to make an heirloom tomato, kind of like a caprese with balsamic glaze. So that's a little grocery haul for you guys. All right, so I am back in my office, getting ready to do some work on the computer, emails and things like that. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a TikTok video today. It's honestly been pretty difficult to try and juggle three different platforms from Instagram to YouTube to TikTok and like, film for YouTube and film for TikTok and post on Instagram. Um, so I feel like I was pretty consistent um, with TikTok and then now it's just gotten pretty busy. But I am very excited that I've been growing on there really quickly. So if you guys are not following me on TikTok yet, and if you have TikTok, then just follow me. I would love it. Um, it's just Naomi Boyer, just like with everything else. Hopefully, if not, I'll just plan for what videos I can film for that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna continue on with the work. Oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed in myself. I completely just forgot to show you guys me filming a TikTok video. So I'm just gonna tell you what I did. Okay, so basically I moved my camera. I did a shoe video this time, which I haven't done in a while. So I took my phone and I just placed it on the ground here. Basically just to show the shoes, right? And so I basically did my four favorite summer slides right here. So one, two, three, four. And so I would just, for example, wear these. Oh, and I added an anklet, Miranda Fry anklet right here, which I love, just to make it a little cuter. So basically, I would just walk in front of the camera and it would show, sorry about the shadows, it would show the little clip and then do it the same way with the rest of the slides. And so, this is a video that I came up with. Whoa! The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same vice, we won't be. All right, so it is now 420. So I'm outside right now. I'm going to do my workout outside. So this is kind of what I have been doing a lot lately because our tonal system, I don't know if you guys if you guys on here knew that I or we got a tonal system. It's like that wall mounted screen where you can kind of do workouts with a trainer and it comes with weights and things like that. Like right now I think it'd be way too hot to work out in the garage. So I've been changing it up and going back to my YouTube workouts and I've really been liking Chloe Ting. I've always done her workouts, but I just feel like I've been wanting to do her workouts more. She has a lot of like hourglass type of workouts, which is what I want. And so I think today I'm just gonna do like a high intensity ab workout from her and then like a little butt workout from her. Still in my gear right here with my Adidas shoes. And yeah, it's been such a comfortable little outfit. And again, like I said, I just love the look of it. I just love how feminine and girly I feel like this outfit is. So let's begin. All right, 
you guys so that is pretty much it of my workout i didn't really show you like the full workout i did um two that were 20 minutes so not that long so i will just link it for you instead of watching me do it if you guys want to do it yourselves you guys can just check the description box for the links for those um workouts so that you can do them on your own at home as well okay i'm all showered up and we even had chipotle for dinner our hello fresh didn't come yeah. it usually is supposed to come on saturdays and now it's been coming on sundays and then last week it came on monday and then today it's monday and it's still not here so that's why we had to just eat out again but Jamie over here is making himself a drink. What are you making? I'm gonna make it old fashioned for tonight. Yeah, next time you'll show us a new drink, a Paloma. Yeah, right? Paloma, I can show you that next time. That's more of a weekend drink. Okay, I am actually probably gonna have some cinnamon rolls right there. These are Costco cinnamon rolls and they're really good. Put them in the microwave for like eight seconds or nine. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do for dessert. I've only had one so far since we got it on Friday and it's already Monday, so that's actually really good for, like just really good self-control, all right? Yeah. And unfortunately, we also got these cookies, Jamie's choice. So I am going to get my cinnamon roll ready to warm up. We have some 90 Day Fiance to watch, oh, and yeah. maybe some below deck, so gotta get ready for that. Anyway, I don't know if I even show you guys, Went to the farmer's market. Oh, these peaches are ready. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Okay, so these are actually mango flavored nectarines, which I've never tried, but they said that it was really good. So me, uh, I think these are ready too, the white ones. Ooh, yeah, cheers. Yes. Cheers. Thank that's you. that's freaking phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Here we go, Colty. 90 Day Fiance. I have one of you. And this couple too. Crazy. Well, I don't know. You didn't tell me. All right. So it's about 10 ish. And gonna call it a night. Um, we watched Million Dollar Listing and a 90 Day Fiance. And it was good. And I ended up having a white peach. Too. It was a really juicy peach. Um, I look real crazy right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.